Hello, I'm Mr. B Bates One, and welcome back to another how to video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at making our very own pack for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, before we start, there is a small element of knowledge required in order to make your own packs for Minecraft. You will need to have a basic understanding of your device and how to access your Minecraft world files, just so you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial and understand what's going on. Now, the tutorial itself is based on Windows 10 edition, but in theory, in terms of folder replacement and things like that, this should work on any device. You're probably thinking then, so what different packs can you actually make for Minecraft? Well, there's resource packs to change how things look. There's behavior packs to change how things run. And then there's skin packs to make the player feel more immersive. Hello! In today's episode, we are going to be looking at behavior packs. So without further ado then, let's get into today's episode. So here we are today directly on minecraft.net forward slash add-ons. If you're new to modding in Minecraft, then this is where you want to be. They offer you the ability to download unmodified Minecraft files to give you a good place to start now to make your own resource packs or your own behavior packs and things like that. And it just sort of aids you in coming up with your own packs in general. So this tutorial then is under the impression that you've already made a modification and now you're looking to test it out in Minecraft. So first of all then, let's create the main folder. In this instance then, I've now that I've put uh, created Iskel's Poggers merch in the previous episode, I thought I don't want this to be able to get destroyed once I place it in the world. I want them to stay there forever. So now, to do that, I want to make sure the armor stands cannot be destroyed. So I've named my folder No Hit Armor Stand. And inside this folder, I've laid out my folder structure as so. So I've got the pack icon. Again, this is a 256 by 256 file. It's a PNG file. In this instance, I have used a armor stand as the icon. I have the manifest file, the manifest.json, which we'll come to again in a second. And then there'll be the folder structure, which defines the behavior that you want to modify. So in this instance, I wanted to modify the armor stands. So I've got my folder as entities, and then inside there is my armor stand JSON. Now I've modified my entities by basically removing the hitbox. As with no hitbox, it cannot be hit and therefore cannot be destroyed. The only way it can be destroyed is if it's set on fire with lava or if it was killed by the kill command. So with that modification then, let's take a look at the manifest. So in this case, I've updated the description in the name. Armor stands are invincible by Mr. B Bates 1. I've done the same for the name as well. And then there's the UUID, which you need to replace in both sections. They need to be unique IDs. Now, in some cases, you might find people that might just change the number on the end, thinking that's suffice, and they might be, oh, yeah, I'll just do that, that's fine. Don't do this. It does break the packs. They don't work properly. If you try and do that, you do need to provide an ID. Now, in this instance, I use a GUI generator, which is a free app in the Windows 10 store. If you're on mobile, and you don't have the ability to use that, you can use the online GUI generator instead. It's just uuigenerator.net. And you simply just copy this in and update the values here. Now both of these need to be different and unique each time. Once that's done, and you've updated the manifest, and you've got all your folder structures in place, it's time to create your pack. Now go back to your main folder, and you simply turn it into a zip file. So in this instance, no hit, armor stand. And then all you need to do then, oh, I've done it again. I did it last time as well. We don't want to do that. Dot MC pack. And there we go. It's now a Minecraft file. You just simply launch that to import it in as normal. And if you're on mobile, instead of creating a zip file, you just basically copy your folder into the behavior packs folder. So you use whatever file edit, file manager, file editor, whatever it is that you've got on your device. And you simply navigate to the com.mojang folder. And then you would put your file in the behavior packs folder. Just copy it in here. And then it's ready to use. Now that we're back in Minecraft, you can't actually view it through this main settings area because you can't apply behavior packs on a main sort of screen area. But you can add them on a world basis. So in this instance, I've already activated it, obviously, because I've already imported it. I already activated it show you in the first place the armor stands are invin invincible the pack there is activated and if we go into this world if we go up and have a look you can obviously see nothing you can do they are invincible now 
update. Not very good at all. And that's it. That is how you add your very own behavior pack into Minecraft. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.